Learning Objective 2, Business Organizations. What are the types of organizations that use accounting information? Organizations typically fall into one of two categories, business and non-business. A business organization sells products and or services for profit, whereas a non-business organization does not have profit as a goal. Examples include hospitals, schools, charities, and other organizations that serve the needs of society. There are three types of business organizations, proprietorships, partnerships, and corporations. A proprietorship, also known as a sole proprietorship, is a business that is owned by one person. It's not a separate legal entity, therefore business profits are included in the owner's personal tax return. Proprietorships also face unlimited liability with regards to debts owned by the business. Proprietorships are the simplest form of business organizations and are mostly small businesses. A partnership is a business that is owned by two or more individuals. Like a proprietorship, a partnership is not a legal entity and the owners are subject to unlimited liability with regards to debts owned by the business. A corporation is a business that is owned by one or more individuals, called shareholders or stockholders, where ownership is in the form of shares or stocks. Unlike proprietorships and partnerships, a corporation is a separate legal entity which files its own tax return. One of the biggest advantages of corporations is that, unlike proprietorships and partnerships, the liability of owners is limited only to their investment in the corporation. We refer to this as limited liability. Shareholders can own any number of shares, and many shareholders can be owners of a corporation, ranging from a single shareholder owning 100% of the company, to hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands of shareholders owning small portions of the company. Thus, the number of shares held by a shareholder represents how much of the company they own. A corporation can have different types of shares, such as common shares and preferred shares, and there can even be different classes of shares within those two categories. Common shares can be privately held or publicly traded on the stock market. Shareholders from larger corporations are represented by the board of directors and daily management is delegated to officers of the corporation. Here's an example of the general form of corporate organization, where the owners or shareholders, who via a voting process elect the board of directors to represent their interests. The board of directors then appoints or hires executive management officers to operate the corporation.